Hello everyone, Michael Insight here with another video. Today's video I'm going to talk to you about the open systems theory or the general systems theory, however you like to see it. Before you all start falling asleep, uh, it's not actually that complicated, it's really just uh, how interaction works between you, the person, and every other, everybody else. And of course you're only one person, so it covers every person in the world. Uh, it doesn't just cover uh, humans, it can cover animals, anyone that really has any cognition and any output. So, what is the general systems theory or the open systems theory? It is, well, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call it open systems theory. So, that there's no repetition. The open systems theory is in three parts. Look at the input, the throughput, and the output. What are each of them? The input is starting with your five senses. I know some people might debate, so we have six senses, kind of see for, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to talk about the five senses that we all know and love. So your sight, your hearing, your touching, your smelling, your tasting, everything that you can possibly perceive, uh, whether you like it or not. You know, uh, right now I'm looking at a wall. You know, because my eyes are open, and I'm seeing a wall. So what do I think of this wall? Well, that's my throughput. So everything that interacts, everything that we see, it all starts very quickly, instantaneously, and usually momentarily, with how our, ins our, our senses are stimulated. Then you've got throughput, how you process, how you interpret those perceptions. So I see an advertising board. I think I want that product. My output is I want to go and buy that product. Or I go and buy that product, actually, because it's a behavior. So if you haven't guessed already, that's kind of how advertising kind of works. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because advertising is one of the, 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 the best ways to to recognize uh, BS, for example. <laughs> you can uh, recognize a lot of nonsense out there uh, by understanding this theory. Because, trust me, the advertising companies out there, they know this. This is, this is basics. You want the person to see something, you want them to immediately think they want it, and they want your output, the behavior to be, I'm going to buy it. And they don't want any more fluff in the way. They don't want anybody asking questions. They don't want anybody, uh, you know, adding any more meat to that, because adding anything more is a threat to the sale. Because when you think about it, it's input, throughput, output. The output is the behavior. The output is the behavior of actually buying the item. The most complicated thing there, if it isn't, it should be, is the throughput the interpretation, the processing, the thinking. It's the thinking. So if I see an advertising board, it depends on what the advertising is. It could be, it really could be anything in there. It could be a picture of a burger, you know, a piece of chicken. Your vision goes, mm. uh, I'm sorry, your vision doesn't go, mm, but your, your vision sees the chicken and this, the throughput, your mind goes, Hmm, I want a piece of chicken. You know, you, you could be standing there thinking, staring at it forever and deciding what to do. Obviously, you're going to have to keep walking by, but then you might immediately get in the car or run to the shop and go buy that. That's exactly what they want. I'm bringing up all this because it's a, it's a type of control. Okay, and that's the main thing. It's about control. Advertising one thing, but let's get back to the things that actually really important right now, and that is... How we interact with other people. Let's take the system again. And I want to try and keep practicing this system because people will, if it, the more you get in a practice of recognizing this system, realizing that it's real, and seeing that how other people interact with other people, you, you immediately go, I see, he's, he's looking at that person or talking to that person, he's thinking what that person is saying, and therefore they are going to. Uh, have a conversation based on the input, the throughput, and the output. Listening, thinking, talking back. It happens all the time, and it's not going to stop. So the systems then can are, are the setup. It's that that's what starts 
the potential barriers and I don't really want to be so so negative about barriers, you know, but it also causes a lot of joy as well. Um, you see a nice, beautiful woman, you think, oh, I really want to get to know her, and you go up and talk to her. That's ideal, but then, of course, we know that people can be real wimps. They, they get shy, they don't want to talk to each other. They, you know, because And why do they do that? Because of fear of rejection. Feeling of rejection. Forgive me if I don't cover it in this video, but I will definitely talk about rejection. Don't worry about that. Getting to know about this, this theory, getting back to this theory, as I say, you'll get to see this more often. The more you listen to this, the more you look at it, the more you practice it, but only really you can can implement that. Everything, you can, you can practice this every day, practically every minute of the day with yourself, with other people around you. Just recognise it. Because it gives you the foundation of having insight. It is an absolute basic principle of having insight. And I'm not trying to be condescending to anybody that says, oh, what were you saying? I don't have insight already. I will out and out tell you because I want to I wanna try and strip away a lot of the BS, look at the bullshit. So I don't like swearing too much, but sometimes just for effect, you have to just turn around and say, there's a lot of bullshit out there. And there's a lot of people believe in bullshit out there. And sometimes people believe bullshit because they don't have insight. They can't see themselves. We are the worst people of looking at ourselves. I'm guilty of it. Everyone else is guilty of it. We can't see everything. But the best way to practice is to look at the different angles. Sometimes it can be f a first person that are natural uh, perspective. And it could be the third person. It could be taking a step back, trying to be objective trying to look at things from the second person or the other person we're talking about. So first, second, third person. The, it, it will be a tool, it's an essential tool for trying to build up how we can better our relationships. Here's an exercise. I want you to imagine interacting with that one person or many person, but try to stick to one person at the moment. That one person that really gets under our skin. When was the last time you spoke to them or when was the last time you had a very heated exchange or maybe it wasn't a heated exchange maybe it was all inside you because you didn't want to burst out you had to contain your anger or maybe you didn't contain your anger and you just burst anyway think about how it led up to that point what did you hear what did you see what did you think about what that person said and how long did you spend thinking about it before you created an output before you created a behavior chances are it was probably a reaction or an action a reaction to whatever that person said or did if you break it down try to break it down if you break it down you will start to analyze things through the first person the second person and the third person first person of course is yourself did I react too quick these are just general questions that you can ask yourself you will know better because you know the situation did I react too quick did I therefore cause that person to do that in the first place did I even have anything to do with this at all second person why did this person do it What's the point? What, what, did they, what was the rationale? Third person is what would people objectively think of both of us? What would they think of me and my behaviour? What would they think of the other person's behaviour? These are very important questions. It's not about who's right and wrong. I can't even give a, a case of right, right and wrong because I haven't actually given an example. And I think it's important at this stage not to give too much of an example because you must have a clear mind into what it is that is affecting you. Of course, I'm assuming that if you're listening to this, you must have at some point interacted with someone, something that has annoyed you. Again, try and be positive. If you want to look at the positive life and maintain the positivity, it's very good to actually practice this 
and try to appreciate uh, what we have in life. It, it could be a person, an animal, a service, or whatever, where we can go, do you know what? I really had a very good experience uh, with that person. Or, you know, I constantly am having very good positive experience. And it's because I am seeing a very good feedback from that person. And I'm thinking, this makes me feel good. And my output is to keep doing the same things that's reinforcing that or expecting that. So that's general systems theory. Um, may do a little bit more later on another video. It's, uh, it's a very fascinating thing. It's, it's a very simple thing, but it's so simple it goes too quick and before you know it you've given an output a behavior which is not good enough which which is uh, bad or something that we regret you know regrets come from the outputs is to give a bit of an indication a bit of an an insight of course it's an insight into human behavior just general interaction with with the world so I hope you got a lot out of it please leave some comments and please subscribe to the, the the channel if you haven't done so already click the like button as well really appreciate it I'm really trying to build something here because I know that a lot of people in the world are really going to benefit from, from these basic things and this channel will evolve over time more content the more basics are made out there to get to maybe more complex matters Thanks for listening today. Remember to always breathe in insight and breathe out freedom. This is Michael Insight. Michael out.